PRC two voices of Houston honors black history and today we're celebrating the accomplishments of a local athlete in the 80s and 90s Zena Garrison was representing Houston on a national stage as one of the greatest tennis players in the world. KPRC 2's Vanessa Richardson talked to Garrison about some of her struggles she faced as a black woman and she's how she's continuing to give back. Before Wimbledon, before the Olympics, Zena Garrison started playing tennis here at McGregor Park. For me, I didn't really look at it as being a child prodigy. I just looked at that I was playing something I love and happened to be good at it. And here where it all began, she teaches through her Zena Garrison Academy. A nonprofit she's had since 1993. We're talking in 1993. She was still at the top of her career and she made mm, a lot of money. She didn't have to do this. Zena this was before Venus and Serena, and the world was not welcoming to a black female tennis player. When she was at the top of her game, she was the only top player without a clothing sponsor. And I remember one of the agents said to me, like, Zena, if you only came five years later, and people were starting to understand that black athletes could actually sell a product. Were there any reality checks where you would travel and realize not every place is as diverse mm. as Houston and welcoming to black people? Well, it's, it's really weird you said that, because just recently, um, was going through some of my mom's stuff and I, I found some very upsetting letters that my mom had gotten, you know, from basically calling me all different kinds of words and I shouldn't be on the tennis court and who do I think I am playing this sport. Resiliency, it's among the many things she tries to teach at her academy. First of all, respect. I'm a huge, huge, huge believer in service. You know, taking yourself out of yourself and then helping others and helping someone else. At McGregor Park, Vanessa Richardson, KPRC2 Sports.